Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Horsehead Bookends. It is day five of the daily vlog for the next 30 days. So today we're going to kind of take it easy. I don't really have a lot to do. Um, we're going to take a look at Seventh Continent today. So hopefully I'll have some extra video to uh, insert right now. Okay, so Seventh Continent from Serious Pulp Games. I am apologizing in advance. I do not have my regular camera, so I'm doing this on a GoPro. So I will have to like move stuff around a lot. But this is the um, this was the rookie pledge. It, well, the rookie pledge equivalent because I missed out on the Kickstarter, so I was able to get it through their website. And I did get two extras. I did get the bone dice and dice bag, which I'll show you. And I did get the uh the play mat so i'll show you everything right now so here's the the bone dice and, and dice bag i actually took them out already just like that and the bone dice i haven't opened them yet but there you go you can take a look at them they're pretty cool i'm going to open them up when i play for the first time check them out now with the pledge supposedly they misprinted a lot of the cards so, or there was issues with the um, sizing and color on some of them. So they sent like an entire replacement box. So, like I have this, this is basically the, if you kickstarted the game, just the base game and got it, you got all of these cards. This is what you got and some other stuff. But I don't know what I'm going to do with these now. All right, next box that we got with this pledge was, I believe it was, can't open it up. Oh, hold on. Okay, how to use two hands for a second. All right, now this is the neoprene play mat, which, as you can see, I haven't opened up yet. But it's pretty big. It's large. It smells like neoprene. So we're going to use that to play once I set it up. Just put that on the side right there. Now this is the expansion. I think it's what goes up must come down. Explore, survive. All right, so we'll see what's in here. Now this I didn't organize yet. I really haven't looked through it. It's hard doing this with one hand. Okay, it looks like a little hot air balloon token. Some rules. out there's a little action desk card holder and looks like we got some a little journal a little note from the creators we got some 3d minis it looks like a stand some more cards Hot air balloon, I guess it shows how to use a hot air balloon. I wish I could give you a better explanation, but I don't know because I haven't played the game yet. But we're gonna remedy that very soon. Oops, wrong box, this box. I can't wait to start using my new camera when I get it. All right, so let's put that over there. And now here, here's the finally the base box, which I have organized. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Okay, it's easy to come off. And here we have the instructions, some player cards, tell you what the actions are, action consequences, your resources on the back, shows your turn sequence, how to play. Now this I already organized, already, that's all organized. I still have to put together the, the action card holder, the discard box. Here's some chips for the cardboard standees, discard pile. Here's some regular dice that come with it. Now here are all the cardboard tokens, but with this we actually got some minis. I really don't need those cardboard tokens. So I'm actually gonna take them out. Oh, and there's some nice foam. 
in there just for an extra slot for expansions and curses and what have you. All right, so I'll put that there. So let's pack this up, let's set up, and let's try to play a game. All right, so I am all set up for a game. I am Elliot Pendleton. My clue is the voracious goddess. I have it all set up. Yeah, the mat has some creases in it, but I just unfolded it. I'm gonna sit it out in the sun for a little while and let it flatten out after I'm done playing, but I have everything ready and we're gonna see how this plays. Now, I didn't realize when I was filming me playing Seven the Continent that I might be having some uh, spoilers. So I didn't include any of that footage. So here's some of my final thoughts. I really enjoyed Seven the Continent. It was the choose your own adventure game I always wanted. It was super easy to play. I really enjoyed the mechanism of how actions were played out and how you got successes on them. I thought it was lots of fun. I really look forward to playing this game. I've edited it into the collection. I don't know if you can see it behind me right now because of the camera I'm using, I, I can't see it. I really enjoyed it and I look forward to playing it again and playing through the curses. Seventh Continent was fantastic and it's definitely gonna be played a lot more in the future. That's really about it. We're gonna take it easy today. I'm backing up my entire video library onto a, an external hard drive because it's eating up a lot of room. I didn't realize it, but I should have. So that's what's happening now. One other thing today, I have to say goodbye to my uh, Canon T5i camera. It is, I'm actually selling it. Someone is coming to pick it up today. It's a terrific camera. It's just, it's really bulky and it's, it's hard to use portably. So when I pick it up to go places, I don't tend to take it because it, it's so heavy. I will be getting a much smaller, more manageable camera, hopefully tomorrow. So I'll film some new stuff with that and we'll see how that works. So if you have any questions or comments for me, please leave them below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can give it a thumbs down. I won't judge you. Well, I'll judge you a little. Please subscribe so you know when I'm uploading new videos. I'm starting to write down some plans on paper so I know what to talk about for certain days. So you know what's coming, and I make it a little more interesting and fun for everybody watching. Okay, well, talk to you later.